Hey guys, great news. We have a 2020 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro in army green. Mwah. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I mean, it's an old design and the data is in. This truck is no longer relevant. No, you're wrong. This is what I mean by the data, dude. Right. Uh, fuel efficiency. I mean, the EPA rating, just look at, look at this. 13 cities, 17 highway, 14 combined for a four wheel drive with this giant V8. I mean, other trucks, if you compare it to Ford, Chevy, Ram, those are several MPG up beyond that. Okay, now this has the 5.7 liter V8, right? Yes. What's its rating? 381 horses. Not bad. 401 pound feet of torque. Uh -huh. Six speed automatic transmission? Yes. Guess what? There are several trucks with the older engine that have slotted over a million miles, a million miles. That is serious reliability baked in. So you take the loss on the MPG, you gain the reliability with a powertrain and transmission setup that cannot be beat. You know, you're right about that because even in the Land Cruiser, they went to an eight speed, but not on a Tundra. They're holding on to that powertrain with iron grip for a reason. Here's the deal, and this is important. This truck starts at around 33.4. Now think about that. That is really inexpensive for getting a big burly 5.7 liter V8. Yeah, you're right. The competitors have, you know, six cylinders or maybe even four cylinder engines. Yeah, you're right. Another thing they don't offer is a crew cab with a longer bed, six and a half footer. Aw. This is a short bed. Yeah, but everybody likes the short bed and everybody wants four doors. That's why they got rid of so many standard cabs. Mm. Dude, just look at the rear end of this truck. It looks awfully low and the data shows this truck has 17 degrees of departure angle which is one of the worst. This is a off-road truck. Yeah, okay, true. But it does have 10.6 inches of ground clearance and that's pretty good. And it has one of the best approach angles out there as well, which is also really good. And, and really important, Fox shocks with reservoirs. Look at that down there. Hells yeah. Andre. Yes? Some good news. Toyota decided to take safety seriously years ago and they've added that to this truck as well so what you get is their safety suite 1.0 yes okay now what you get with that is lane departure warning adaptive cruise control now nathan explain this to me uh, the push button start is uh, great right? yeah okay. they're awesome right but but why is it so close to the tow haul mode so, uh, you could push it by accident <laughs> because they're trying to keep you on your toes <laughs> So, you know, you shut this off and then boom, hit trailer. Oh, wait, tow haul? Wait, what? Oh, I should have been paying attention. And thanks to Roman complaining constantly about this. <laughs> look, what you, look what you get down here, Andre. Wait, what? Wait, one, uh -huh. two, three USB ports? <laughs> That's because of Roman's complaints. But the deal is, is that this is standard equipment now in terms of the safety. And that is huge because they're able to up their truck which this is a really old platform and they're able to keep the safety as something that they take important no you're wrong really <laughs> start the engine please uh, let me demonstrate let, let, let push me button start by the way okay I'll give you that they added push button start uh, okay uh, do you see the size of the screen yep um, it, not yep. great not not the biggest one no. right uh, now put it in reverse uh, okay by the way, I like this, having shift down here. Look at this resolution. Turn the, turn the steering wheel. Yeah, nothing's happening. Do happened. you see the lines moving? No, they're really no. not, aren't they? Uh, where's your front and 360 views? Where, where, can you show me? Yeah, watch. Boom. That's a front. No, it's not. Boom. Front. No, that's not front. Boom. Front. Yeah, see, there's the front. No, that's not the front either. That's the reverse. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? I'm making fun of it a little bit, but I mean, the technology has went up so greatly. Just look at the Ram interiors, right? Mm -hmm. They have 360 degree views. GM has 15 different cameras. Yes, but views. there's something important, Andre, that you need to keep in mind. What? You're just not thinking, all right? Because I need to show you guys, and the only way I can show you is by looking behind you. Look back, look back. Nobody has that. Nobody! Sliding rear window? Hell yeah! Whoa, this is really awesome, actually. I really hope Toyota keeps this for the next Tundra. 
Please, Toyota, please keep it. Now that is some James Bond stuff going on right there. And actually it's something I really, truly love that Toyota does and nobody else does. That in itself is something that I say is awesome. I would agree with you. <laughs> Nathan, the, the key to having a successful truck is choice because different engines uh, are used for different tasks. There's an efficient engine if you look at the competition. In, in fact, Ford and GM both offer six different engines for their half-ton full-size trucks. There's only one engine option here. And it's an awesome engine, but more importantly, none of them, not one of them, sounds as good as this does with the TRD exhaust system. Go ahead and sit down right there. I'll be right back. Go ahead oh, and sit down. Oh, okay. Come on, have a seat. By the way, it is a dual outlet. There's one on the other side as well. You know what guys, it's not ultimately like the loudest system, but the tone of it is just so good. I mean, there are rumors that Toyota is going to switch to a twin turbo V6 in the next generation. Yeah, I hear. I mean, I know why they would do that, but to lose that sound. <sighs> Look. A lot of other car companies are starting to look at something other than V8s. We know this. In fact, almost all of them are looking at alternatives. So it's inevitable. But at least for now, one thing about this truck is that sounds mighty good. Dude, we got to talk payload and towing. This is a truck. Ah, dampened tailgate. I'll give you that. The tailgate is dampened. Yeah. But dude, for this 4x4, 1200 pounds of payload yeah you know just look at our ram rebel a long-term truck that had about 1500 pounds this is less towing max towing is 9200 pounds mm -hmm. truck like the rebel once again which is an off-road truck about 11,000. so you're not having as much capability here for weight i can't even argue with you there i mean it's one of the things between that and the efficiency that they truly need to work on but look at the green Look at this beautiful um, green. It is a beautiful it's a green. beautiful green. It's a brand new truck, but what happened here? Why isn't this bedlined? Uh, that's what happens when Roman touches the truck, man. That's all Roman. And you know, Toyota does this, which is kind of cool, but yeah. I would prefer, I would prefer a bedliner. Bedliners would be better. See, see, this rock is gonna make this scratched and rusty and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but this is really good if you have human beings back here bouncing around because it's a little bit more forgiving on the rubber. What human beings? Well, under 1,200 pounds worth of human <laughs> beings. Howdy, folks. <laughs> Tell me this, Nathan. Sure. Um, yes, the backseat is mighty roomy in this Crew Max. Dude, are you sitting like where you would be driving? Yeah. Dang, there's a ton of space back here. But why is the floor not level? Why does the interior appear to be made in the uh, last decade? Okay, so this truck does have a folding back seat, but for some reason there's not like a cubby hole under here or a specific storage. All the other trucks have like little cubbies. Well, honestly, this truck is older than most of the people who work for TFL. <laughs> My thing about this truck is that it's just solid and it's just tough and it has a lot of potential, even though it's on an ancient platform. And dude, one more thing. Yeah. Um, can you show me the button that engages the rear locker? Yes. It's on another version, which comes out later on, I hope, because it's not on this. <laughs> I know, I know. That's like the one thing that is, in my mind, the biggest negative. The one thing I agree with on you on this. Well, they have a limited slip differential, but yeah, it doesn't yes, do it. But th they still don't have like crawl control. They have it on Tacoma, right? Uh, who cares about crawl control? Just a locking rear diff would be huge. And they have that available on both the off-road and the TRD Pro Tacoma.
All right, dude, I'll give you this. It's a good truck, not the best in class, but good. But I have a, two more issues. Okay. Your little baby tires on this off-road truck. Yeah, the Michelins. And one too many non-functioning hood scoops. Okay, I'll give it to you. Those hood scoops are ridiculous and completely non-functioning. Although, you could put real ones on it. But yeah. most importantly, despite the fact that the hood scoops are on there, really good visibility, right? I mean, even though the hood has a little bit of a bump in it because of that, you can still see out of the vehicle beautifully. Yes. Some of these other vehicles that are out there have really high hoods. And yes, those Michelins are itty bitty, and a little bit of tires, but that's the good news. Everybody loves to put brand new tires on them and do aftermarket, uh, you know, BFGs and whatnot. And then all of a sudden bigger tires and everything's awesome, right? Yes. But the bottom line here is that I'm talking about a truck that has a really good platform. It's extremely reliable. It's got a tough engine and it's very useful for day-to-day -day driving. You and I both agree that it has a really good ride, right? It's a pretty good daily driver Dude, for a full-size truck. Those Fox shocks and the suspension setup is really good. Yep. And it sounds amazing. So there's a lot of positives with the vehicle. And at the end of the day, I think this is going to be your next truck. No, you're wrong. All right. How much does this truck cost as it sits? Well, I think it's retail price is just over 54 grand. Now that's not too bad considering what you get for the price and considering how much the competition costs. Yeah, like our Rem Rebel was approaching 60 grand new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give you that. Hey folks, thank you so much for joining us for the Fastlane Truck. This is Andre and Nathan. Don't forget to go back to TFL Truck for more news views and what else? Real world truck reviews. And don't forget, we also have a live show on TFL now, Mondays and Fridays, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. See you guys.